I am the boss of the block. Lisa McGee has lived near Cocker Park her whole life. I've been over in this neighborhood for over 50 years, and we sat and watched them dig and make this park. Years later, she's giving it a fresh coat of paint. Um, local musicians, the music, the basketball, the beautiful colors. Those colors are part of a mural designed by community artist Tia Richardson. Your small, our, our, our small contributions add up to something bigger. That, that's, that's a mindset. Inviting the community to grab a brush. It's to come help brighten the neighborhood, beautify it, put your hand in it. The space will soon be renamed Algero Park after the Milwaukee-born musician. It's officially Algero Park, and so a lot of the imagery was inspired by his music and lyrics and conversations I had with residents. And while the community is hard at work painting this fence, the colors and designs mean so much more to the people that live here. And then there's an the I down at the bottom, and that spells Amani. Barbara Smith is part of Amani United. Looking at the mural, she sees her neighborhood. Some of our families can see themselves in this family. Finding family in the community. Appreciate you all coming out to help us. From kids stopping by. Art is like beautiful and it's um, like colorful. To the local firefighters pitching in. Stay inside the lines. The mural is painting their neighborhood in a positive light. They can come through here and see how they contributed to something that's going to be so vibrant and so great. It makes me happy and feels joyful. For Lisa, this new addition will be part of her family for many years to come. And so they actually can come out and be a part of this and continue the story of the legacy that we built here on 30th Street, 30th and Locust. And if you want to get involved, it's not too late to grab a paintbrush because they'll be doing a community painting of these basketball courts behind me later this month. Reporting in Milwaukee, Keely Starrell, TMJ4 News.